Last time, I went over my least favorite shines to come out of Super Mario Sunshine. And while those shines are truly terrible, this game also has some amazing levels that test your platforming skills, flood use, and your quickness. So today, I'm going to rank my top 10 best shines from Super Mario Sunshine. This one's a lot like the Koopa the Quick levels from Mario 64, but instead of racing a Koopa, you race the Running Man disguised as a Pianta. I really like all the Piantissimo racing levels, but my favorite has to be the one on Galato Beach, since I think it's the hardest one. This leads to quite a bit of fun since you'll be neck and neck during the race, or at least I am neck and neck with him. However, it isn't the most challenging shine overall, and it's also pretty short, but it's just good enough to make it into my top 10. This shine is another weird one. Basically, these ugly turtle Yoshi eggplant things that honestly sound like Waluigi are sucking the energy out of these sunflowers, so you have to kill them one by one. This shine is honestly one of the easiest in the game, but the sunflowers are literally some of the cutest things in the game. Just listen to the baby sunflowers when you save them. Aren't they the most adorable thing on the planet? This is literally the only reason why this level makes it on my list. Next is the first secret level of the list. These levels are some of my favorite in the game for being challenging, but rewarding, and testing you on your platforming skills. When it comes to the secret of the dirty lake, I think this one is one of the first secret levels you come across that is actually pretty challenging. It isn't so hard like later levels, but it does start to ramp up the difficulty. When it comes to getting there, you have to use the lily pad on some dirty water, which as some of you may know, gives me horrible flashbacks, but I never use the lily pad to get there anyways. This level also has a really fun red coin mission after you beat the level once. This level is a combination of two shines, the goop cleaning shines and the secret level shines. Basically, the village is surrounded by this orange slime with fire properties, but Shadow Mario takes flood, so instead of cleaning up the goop, you have to go underneath the village to make it to flood who is with the mayor, who is also covered in the slime. This level is pretty challenging, especially if you try to avoid the underneath sections, but it is also very unique and fun. This level reminds me a lot of a Zelda game. You basically have to solve these maze puzzles in order to acquire the shine in this small alcove. The mazes mostly consist of wall jumping, but they close off so you need to climb them quickly. As you're climbing, you begin to see bloopers who start attacking you. This is weird because they aren't present in any other Noki Bay level, but it turns out Gooper Blooper is the one blocking the entrance to the shine. Some might say it's lazy because you have to fight this boss again, but I like it because it feels like a surprise and I actually like fighting this boss. He is still really easy though. After this, you make it to the alcove, which actually looks really cool. It's like a room full of ancient artifacts. I really like it. This is one of two levels that requires the Peanut Park roller coaster. And let me just say, this level is way better than the balloon one. This level is action packed because it has bullet bills who hone in on you, and it also has Mecha Bowser causing fires. It can be difficult, but luckily it doesn't last for a super long time. I find it odd that Mecha Bowser takes 4 hits to go down though. Normally it's like 3 or 5. This level is just really creative and memorable. Sure, there still isn't a reticle, but Mecha Bowser is so big that it's pretty easy to hit, so the level doesn't really need one. The Secret of Rico Tower is probably the most recognizable secret level. I only say this because it was brought back in Galaxy 2, but still. 
It is also hard, but not too hard. The only part that kind of sucks is the gear section, but that's only because you can fall through them, which is ridiculous, but whatever. The red coin challenge is also fun because it barely gives you enough time, so you really need to go as fast as you can. This is just another fun secret level, nothing else to say. This level reminds me a lot of the slide levels from Mario 64, but instead of a slide, you go through an obstacle course while riding on a blooper. The obstacle course can be challenging, but the challenge mostly depends on the blooper you pick. The pink one is the fastest, but has poor handling, the blue one has the best handling, but is the slowest, and the yellow one is decent at both. Just like Peach's slide from Mario 64, there are two shines here, with one of them requiring a quicker time. For me, I used the blue blooper for the first run through, and the pink blooper on the second run through. This level has gotten to be one of the most memorable for me personally. It is a boss battle with a giant wiggler who is green for some reason, and who also doesn't turn red when angry. But you can't fight it since the thing is literally going insane, so you have to trick it into running into these sand dunes you can create with Flood. When it runs into one of the sand dunes, it topples over and you can ground pound it. Each time you succeed, the wiggler gets even more pissed and runs faster. While this level is easy, I just love how intense it can be. When it's running around in the distance, it looks like it's throwing a hissy fit. But when it is close, it shakes the ground and is so fast that it'll easily catch up to you and trample you. But like I said, the boss is easy, so after you basically kill it, you are able to acquire the shine. The Caged Shine Sprite Rico Harbor. This shine is an honorable mention because it was one of my favorites to acquire as a kid, but it's really easy because I always take a major shortcut so it didn't make the list. Chain Chomp's Bath, Pianta Village. You'd expect that you have to fight the giant flaming chain chomp, but instead you just give it a bath. It's weird, but I like it. The second airstrip shine, Delfino Airstrip. The first shine here is basically just a tutorial, but you aren't able to visit this area again until the end of the game. So it's really nice that you get to return to the airstrip for one last time, even if it's a pretty simple shine. Now for my favorite level, the shell secret. To get to this level, you climb up these giant shell towers by jumping to each tightrope. You do this in order to get into this mysterious shell that has a secret level. And this one is by far the hardest secret shine in the game, unless you count the chuckster bullshit. This level really tests your platforming abilities by requiring wall jumps, side hops, tightrope jumps, and quickness. But while it's so hard, it is also so fun. It's weird because this level gave me so much trouble as a kid, which made me hate it, but now I really appreciate the difficulty because it makes the level all the more rewarding. <laughs> 